We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You know, I'm all about mental toughness. And in today's video, I want to take you back to one of my lowest points of my life when I was actually going through my homeless journey and sleeping in my car. This particular point, I think I'm about seven, maybe eight days into uh, my nine month journey. I haven't eaten for a long time. And in the video, you can clearly hear the effects of not eating properly for a good couple of days. Mentally, I wasn't uh, there. Physically, I was feeling very, very weak. But I want to show this video with you guys because I want to show the journey that I've been on when it comes to rebuilding my life from being homeless um, to you know, being a successful entrepreneur, living on a beautiful island right now. But I wasn't always like this. I want to encourage you guys and inspire you to show you the benefits of having mental toughness, to be able to, regardless of what's going on in your life, be able to hit your goals, have the right attitude towards it, the right habits, the right rituals, the right behaviors, and also having the right set of goals and how to achieve that. So I want you guys to come on this journey with me. Again, it's about four minutes long. And I'd like to leave you a comment, if you can. Um, just tell me what kind of journey you're on in terms of your own transformation. And I share these videos as a purely inspiration to you guys to let you know it doesn't matter where you are, what happens to you, it's all about how you deal with it. Because nothing that happens to you defines you, nothing. Right? You be going through the worst point of your life. And I've been depressed twice in my life, maybe three times, manically depressed for five years, 11 years ago. So I've been through some sh but I'm able to overcome that. And I want this video to be another shining example for you guys. So let me know in the comment section, make sure you like, subscribe. Enjoy the video, please. So back in the car after a nice bit of barbecue. I don't know if I cooked it well enough, but I was just so hungry. I couldn't wait for the thing to to work properly but it eventually works I don't I, I'll, I won't let you know who but luckily I'll be next I'll be near to service station so it should be okay um hopefully next two days I will be um in a more well no probably Friday so I'll still be out next three days I'll um find a tent camping ground can be at that allows me to just get my stability for a while not sleep in my car be in my car not driving either I can hear, by the way, I'm speaking, how, how weak I sound. It's hard for me to get my words out together. Just eating that food was, was good. But, um, yeah, I really am. Not great. <laughs> but these are the moments, huh? These are the moments that define us that makes us stronger or weaker, live or die. These are the moments that makes us want to move or stop. I refuse to stop. I'm gonna make the changes I need to make. This is tough. Don't get me wrong. I know other people out there with problems, but they're going through what they're going through and so am I. So I'm just appreciative, very appreciative. I still can't deny the fact that it's tough. My mind's all uh it's not all over the place. It's nowhere. I can't describe it. You know like Oh man. I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but way back in the day there's this urinals, so you go and pee in public toilet. And there was this app I saw once and it was quite similar. It was called it's called Bear Goggles or something like that. I don't know, but what it was, it was guy was peeing in the toilet and every beer he drank he just the aim was worse and worse that's probably the worst analogy ever but that's the only way i can think of right now <laughs> is that it's blurred vision rather than the all over the place you know i could see but i can't see clearly because i can't focus on that direction so i'm hoping me getting some rest <laughs> when i get to the tent place It'll be okay, so we'll see. I have some food still. And I... I smell the smoke. 